Hey guys, so welcome to our first lesson for a software called MIT App Inventor, which helps us create apps. So the first, um, so obviously I named this app is called Buttons, Labels, and Text Boxes. So that's what we will be covering today. Um, we'll be going through how to use buttons, what labels are, and then how text boxes relates to all that. I won't be testing out the program. I think you can do that yourself. All you need to go to is um, app, MIT App Inventor, type that in. You'll come to a Google screen and you can just click the first um, link there. And that'll get you to uh, a page and then just sign up and that'll get you to this page. So basically, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a form with two text boxes, a button, and a label. So. Let's just bring in the first text box, second text box, a button, and a label. So what what this uh, form is going to do is that um, the user will enter their first name, they will enter their last name, they will hit submit, and their name will pop up in this label. So that's why I have two text boxes, a button, and a label. So I'm going to first align this to make it look nice. So line horizontal is in the center and like vertical I also want in the center um, now for the text box you can customize it in this section called properties and the first thing I want to do here is this hint this hint is something that gives the user an idea of what to put in here so for the hint I'm just gonna say enter first name pretty simple I'll just copy this for now okay enter first name um, and you can customize it like I want them to enter when it, whatever they enter is going to be font size 16 maybe the font I want it default is fine height and width are actually pretty okay and um, yeah that's it multi-line numbers only is just something numbers only makes it only allow like numbers only only allows the user to enter numbers and multi-line allows the user to enter more than one line but this is okay for now. Text alignment, so whatever they enter will be on the left. So this is okay. For the second text box, actually, for the first text box, we can name it two. So let's just rename it uh, text box one first. So text box one is for the first name. Text box two is for the last name. Um, now for this one, obviously we have to change the hint. So enter last name. So if you move your cursor over that, you'll have first text box says enter first name and enter last name. Now button one, let's just call it submit btn, submit button. Um, and for this, let's just have size 16, which is our theme that's going on. Um, height and width are okay shape I want to make it rounded corners I like buttons with round corners and then the text for that submit you can really have anything you can have like finish or complete or enter just something that makes sense text color will be white because I want the background of this to be blue and the screen wants background like the whole screen's background I want that to be where can, oh, right there. Pink. I think that looks nice. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, so basically, we have first, second text box, submit. And this label, size 16, this label will have nothing in it for now. What it will have is the first name, last name, and yeah. Oh, text align center. So the text will be in the center of that label. Now in the block section. Basically, you want to you want to tell the program that when this button is clicked, I want to set the text of this label. Right now, this label has no text, so I want to set the text of this label to. Then these are like some of the controls, like control, log, uh, logic, math, text, list. Uh, we're just going to use this block here that says join. So I want to join three things the first name, I want to join space, and then the last name. So this join makes one string that's going to be in the label. So I want text box, so first name, 
text. So whatever the user enters that, I want a space in the middle. So I'm just going to have an empty text, put a space in there. And then just duplicate this. I want the last name's text. So whatever the user enters for the last name. And basically this is your program. So when you press submit, this will pop up and you can test that out. Thanks guys for tuning in. Hope this helped.